Hey, it's uh, Advent of Code, and I haven't written any code in a while, so it will be interesting to see uh, if if it works and if I do a good job. So um, hopefully it goes better than I did last year, because last year I, I kind of stopped. Um, unsupported resolution, you change the resolution, is not supported for this configuration. Uh, Special view resolution is 1280 by 720. All right, let me see if I can do that. Um, the first one will always be interesting. Settings, screen, output, video. Okay. Okay, this is my second try. We're going to do advent of code, and I think I've got the settings in a way that YouTube is uh, happier with it now. So this is 2019, this is the first day, and uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully it goes well. Um, I have not been writing a lot of code recently, so, um, so yeah, so I haven't been writing a lot of code recently, and uh, so hopefully I am not too rusty. Uh, and I don't even remember how Advent of Code sort of works. Tyranny, but I'll, I'll, I will read this. Tyranny of the Rocket Equation. Santa has become stranded at the edge of the solar system while delivering presents to the planet, sacrificially calculating his position in space. He needs to bring in measurements from 50 stars. Collect stars to solve puzzles, two puzzles, blah, blah, blah. Each puzzle one star. The first each elf is going to the fuel counter upper. They haven't determined the amount of fuel required yet. Fuel required to launch given models based on its mass. Find the fuel required for a model, take its mass. Divide by 3, round down, and subtract 2. For example, for a mass of 12, divide by 3, and round down to get 4. Um, the fuel counter upper needs to know the total fuel requirements. Um, to find it, individually calculate the fuel needed for the mass of each module, your puzzle input, and add together all the fuel values to begin get your puzzle input. So let's get to my puzzle input. Um, And uh, so let me go. I made a, a thing, and I'll do day one, and I'll do input.txt. And this year I'm doing uh, a folder per thing. Okay, so I've got 100 of these, so that looks pretty good. Um, and then let me just do uh, day01.py. And because this is the first time, I probably am not using the right virtual environment, which is uh, Advent 2019. So that's good too. Okay, so um, let's go back and copy this and just stick it in a doc string. Fuel required launching even models based on its mass. Specifically, you'd find take its mass. Um, Divide by three, round down and subtract two. Um, so let me zoom out a little bit. Um, def fuel uh, mass int, and that will also return an int. So return mass divide by three and round down um, minus two. Uh, and now let's assert fuel of 12 equals two. Assert that fuel of 14 equals 2. Assert that fuel of 1969 equals 654. And assert that fuel of 100756 equals 33583. So that looks good. And I think here I'm in the right directory. Um, so CD day one, and now I want to run day zero one dot pi, and all my starts pass. Um, and so for part one, um, what does it want? Individually calculate the fuel and add together the fuel values. Okay. Whoops, I don't have a one slide. Um, I want this. Uh, and so with open input.txt as f, 
um, masses equals int line dot strip for line in F. And then part one equals sum of fuel mass for mass and masses. And then let's just print part one. Um, and so that gives me this number. And let's just, there's a hundred masses, which I think was how many we had. Uh, so let me get that number and copy it. Um, control shift C. And let's paste it here. That's the right answer. Okay. Continue to part two. During the second pull, the alpha charge of record equation stops a lot sequence. Apparently you forgot to include additional fuel for the fuel you just added. Fuel itself requires fuel just like a module. Take its mass by throwing down the director. However, that fuel also requires fuel, and that fuel requires fuel, and so on. Any mass that would require negative fuel should instead be treated as if it requires zero fuel. The remaining mass, if any, is instead handled by which is really hard, which has no mass outside the scope of the calculation. So for each module mass, calculate its fuel and add it to the total, then treat the fuel amount you just calculated as the input mass and repeat the process, uh, and so on. Uh, so the module requires it, then this fuel requires that, then 70, then this, then this, then this, then this. What is the sum when also take into account? Um, okay. So, um, what we really want to do is change this. So it's saying basically that um, uh, fuel current is zero or, or negative. Okay. So, um, Can I stop doing this? All right. Um, I should probably unpin that because otherwise I keep clicking by accident. One of my favorites. Are the joys of working on Linux. Um, very good. Um, um, I don't even know what's happening here. Okay, I'm going to quit all this stuff and This is why it's the first day. Um, um boy, I'm having a lot of problems here. Um, not the usual problems I have. These are not coding problems. These are laptop problems. So let me just start uh, killing all these Slack processes and see what happens. What a nuisance. Okay. Um, now I can't. Uh, okay, this is, this is kind of hilarious. Um, Uh, 
I apologize if to anyone who's watching this. This is like so stupid. Um, I don't know why this thing is here. Where's all my code? There it is. And okay, you know what? I'm going to stop streaming and uh, reboot my computer because uh, I don't I don't even know what's going on. <laughs>